Welcome to the new video. In today's video, we'll be based discussing and questions from the NIMI based MCQ for ITI welder. So our topic is induction training and the welding process. So I'll be pairing two or three videos from the same topic, which is my first video from the topic induction training and the welding process. Here is our first question. Which operation is to remove burrs from the plate after cutting? So burrs will be formed on the plate. You can see here a pipe which is cut. You can see some projection over here. This is called burrs. So to remove this, we will be doing the filing operation. So we'll be doing the filing operation. There are different types of files available: cross cut file, rough cut files, double cut files, and the hand file. Anyway, we'll be doing the filing operation to make this like this. So this is the final product after filing. So the burrs means. Uh, the projections after cutting, there will be some projections are there, so we'll be using files to remove all these things. Which is used for handling hot jobs, tongs, shovel, poker, knife. So I even know this answer. Tongs is the correct answer for this, and you have seen this figure. This is tongs. This is uh, used in uh, smithy and uh, welding operation and also for the casting operation to deal with the hot jobs. Shovel may be very familiar with it. It will be used in foundry for mixing sands and all. Poker and snips, it should not be that much familiar. This is the figure for poker and the shovel. Again, uh, using sheet metal and the hot job uh, handling. And the snips, snip is a uh, tool used for sheet metal uh, cutting. So our current answer is tongs will be used for handling hot jobs, for handling hot jobs. Which part of the hammer fits into the handle for rigidity? Which part of the hammer fits into the handle, into the handle for its rigidity? So this is the parts of the hammer. We are different parts of the pins. It's a ball, a ball pin hammer is there, cross pin hammer is there. Now, this is called the neck of the hammer. And this is the eye of the hammer. And you can see a wedge which is fitted into the handle. You can see a wedge which is fitted into the handle. And uh, you can see the neck on both sides, and this, uh, this is called the pole. This is the flat, is called the face of the hammer. And uh, this flat surface is called the cheek of the hammer. And in the handle itself, it is divided into neck and grip. Uh, we will be uh, dealing the handle by handling over here. So this is called the grip of the handle. So grip, uh, total handle is divided into neck of the handle and the grip of the handle. This is the head of the hammer. So the parts fit into the handle that is called the wedge. The part that fit into the handle that is called the wedge of the hammer. Which is to be a for safety while handling thin sheets. While handling thin sheets, there is a chance for cuts in the hands. So while wearing, uh, tongs will not be helpful. Uh, C clamp or U clamp will not help for us. By wearing hand gloves that will help us to uh, prevent our hand from cuts and wounds that will be created due to a sharp edge of the sheet. Hand screen will be used in a welding operation. Okay. What is the type of clamp shown in figure? You can see the figure here. The shape of the clamp is a C-shape. The shape of the clamp is a C-shape. So it is called the C-clamp. The shape of the clamp itself is gives the name of the clamp that is called the uh, C clamp. Which file having uh, its width parallel throughout its length? So we have uh, we have to study uh, different types of file in connection with that. So we have a hand file, flat file, and half round file here. With hand file is parallel width for its length. For hand file having its pa width parallel for its length. It is a double cut on both sides, single cut on one's edge but other edge is blank. We have two face and two edges. Two is for general purpose. That's for hand file. Flat file is a double cut on both sides, a single cut on the edges. But in hand file, it is a blank on the edge. That is called a safe edge. That is called a safe edge of the flat file. So uh, hand file. In flat file, it tapers slightly towards the point. There is a Slight tapper is provided with the 
flat file. Use for again, use for general purpose. And third one, half round file. It is for double cut on one flat side and the single cut on the curved side. In the curved side, it has got single cut on the flat side, got a uh, double cut. It tapers slightly towards the point on both width and thickness. Towards, uh, in both width and thickness, it is uh, providing a slight taper towards the point. Use for filing contour surface and internal corner. Use for filing contour surface and internal corner. So our answer is a hand file having the uniform width, the hand file having the width throughout its parallel width towards its length. What are the gas plane combination used for welding ferrous and non ferrous alloys? What are the welding plane combination used for welding ferrous and non ferrous alloys? We have different types of LBG and air acetylene and air acetylene and oxygen, hydrogen and oxygen. So the most famous is acetylene and oxygen. That's the correct answer for this. Acetylene and oxygen will be used for welding ferrous and non ferrous alloys, acetylene and oxygen. Which nozzle size is selected for to cut 15 mm thick MS plate? To study this uh, nozzle size, we have to study one chart which is having uh, cutting operation nozzle size and the welding operation nozzle size are available. For uh, cutting operation, we have different nozzle size and the thickness of the plate varying from 1 to 12, 1, 1 to 25, 50, like that. And our thickness is uh, range in the, in the 15, so we have to go for the second option, 1 to 25 will be. Using the nozzle with the thickness 1.19, that is the 1.2 is the correct answer for this. So it will be difficult to run by heart the whole chart, but uh, we have to study at least uh, first uh, two sheets because uh, it will be most common. 1 to 15 mm, 1 to 25 mm will be the most common sheet that will be carry out the working welding operation or cutting operation. In this is the table for uh, cutting operation. We have there is another table for the welding operation also. So just uh, remember, uh, for up to 12 mm, we'll be using uh, 0.72 is the nozzle size and 1.4 is the pressure of the oxygen. And uh, up to 25 mm, 1.2 is the pressure and uh, 3 is double is the pressure of the oxygen. What is the hottest point in oxyacetylene flame? So options 2000 to 2200, 2, 500 to 700, 700 to 3000, 3000 to 3200. So you know this answer. This is a flame, neutral flame gel having the hottest, uh, having inner white cone has the hotter temperature, 3100 degrees Celsius. So our answer is, it's like between 3000 and 3200 degrees Celsius. What mark as X of the portable cutting machine? You can see a different portable cutting machines available uh, throughout the market. You can uh, semi automatic is a semi automatic, you can fix it and it will be cutting by CNC operator automatic. And this knob will be used for vertical control of the knob. This knob is used for vertical control of the knob. Cutting torch. Okay. That's all for today. We'll be back with another 10% of the different topic. So thank you for watching.